What's going on Renaissance people? I'm back once again. I hate saying this. I hate that every time I do a video I have to say that I've been gone for so long. But trust me, this time there's really a reason. I forgot to tell y'all, I got my master's degree. Um, I didn't have my diploma yet, but I got my master's degree. I finished all my work. My teacher gave me a, the okay to check you're done. I don't have to do anything else. I just have to go to the commencement ceremony in December. So, everything's really going great right now. Um, right here behind me, I have a piece that I've been working on. This is my excuse for being ghost for so long because this is taking me so long to do. Um, over 100 hours right here, right behind me. Uh, Y'all gonna see it later on. I'm a, I know I'm in the way. I know I'm in the way, trust me, I know I'm in the way. But um, yeah, man, it's taking me forever to do this piece. And I'm so excited to share this with y'all. I did a time-lapse video of it because I wanted y'all to actually see the process and how long it actually took me to do this. Now, listen, the time-lapse that I did, it was 20 minutes. The entire time-lapse was 20 minutes. Now, 20 minutes for a time-lapse is a very long time. Like, it's, 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 it's crazy. Like, I don't even know all the statistics and the numbers and the math that goes with um, time lapses, but 20 minutes for a time lapse is a long time. Um, so what I did, I took all the video, I recorded this entire time lapse on my iPhone, and I moved that those, those clips to iMovie. And on iMovie, each little segment of video has a knob where you can turn, you can tune the, the um, time of each segment. So what I did was I, for each segment, I sped it up even more. So each segment is sped up even more. That cut my video down to 10 minutes. So um, the 10 minute time lapse is still a long time, a very long time. It's, it's worth it though. Just watch the entire time lapse. I'm telling you, it's going to be interesting. It's really interesting. I love seeing things come together. So I feel like y'all love seeing these things come together as well. Um, Another reason behind this painting is I did Beyonce because she's Beyonce. Like, who doesn't love Beyonce? Everybody, guys love Beyonce for her looks and her music. Women love Beyonce because they want to look like her and her music. Um, and recently I have been getting a lot of criticism about not painting more women, not incorporating more women into my art. So, what more, what better woman to, what, what better woman to paint than Beyonce? Like, She's everything. She's entrepreneur, actress, um, singer, dancer, mother, um, wife, daughter. Like she's the epitome of a powerful and iconic woman in today's society. So like, yeah, who doesn't love Beyonce? Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much the background of this painting. Now, I'll, I'll show y'all a little bit more of this painting. Right here, it says Queen B because that's her name. That's, that's who she is. That's her nickname. That's the identity she goes by. This is, this is a prison mugshot, to say the least, if you don't, if you don't really know. But um, the numbers here, the numbers stand for, it's just her birthday. That's the only way I could really think of some numbers that would go good for a booking number so that's her booking number just simply her birthday and you got inmate county jail that kind of just adds more character to the booking card and then you got her this is her actual height she's 5'7 she's about an inch over 5'6 so that's that's all real and um yeah she had clothes on but I, I, I wanted to kind of give this right here some texture so I just kind of freestyled a little bit and I, I really like the way it turned out, man. It, it, it turned out really well, in my opinion. Now, another thing I want to point out is this frame. Now, this frame was, it was thought out by me. I thought of, I thought of it because I, I want a real nice, ornate type of frame for it. But, like, I couldn't, I couldn't find one that was cheap enough. Like, an ornate frame in this size was, in the, anywhere in the neighborhood of $400 to $600. And that's ridiculous. Like, come on, like a frame? Just a frame is $400. So this frame here wound up being about, 
it costs probably about $70, $80 in materials to make. So and that's just the ornate piece of wood. This is actually floor trim that I bought from Home Depot. And not Home Depot, but Lowe's, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's just floor, floor trim that we, me and my dad, well my dad made the frame, he made the frame. But I, I gave him the dimensions, I picked out the wood, I told him I wanted, I needed a frame made, and he was like, yeah man, I can do that, that's no problem. And he did, so I'm real proud of him. Shouts out to my dad for that. And um, I'm really, really stoked at how this turned out right here, man. This is, this is my best, like I said, it's my best work hands down. Nothing I've ever done has topped this. I have a lot of hard work I've done, and this is this is one of a kind right here. And the real reason it's one of a kind to me is because this is like a, a number of reference photos compiled together, and it's all original. So you won't find this particular image, this photo, this painting anywhere. It's it's all one of a kind and ties together perfectly, in my opinion. That's all I wanted to share with y'all, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this time-lapse video. And that's it.